Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Sector A to Z. In this galaxy of rampant colonization, industrialization and subsequent pollution, we refuse steadfastly this sedentary lifestyle. We refuse to pollute the planets with our disgusting presence. We refuse to just be productive members of society. In the Persian sector, we are the Quarians. Welcome to the Anarchist Reparations Society, where we don't need no stinking planets. We can live on our dummy mommy mothership. Elusive to the point of myth and the central pillar to the society's web of logistics, Anargaya is a ship unlike any in the star sector. It wanders between stars on the back of an antiquated method of FTL spreading chaos wherever it goes. And it was on this gargantuan mothership that today's protagonist starts their adventure. You know? Mount Canorvas. Oh no, it won't fit. I have three letters. <laughs> Ara? <laughs> that, that's fine. <laughs> With just an old frigate, Mangkanur goes forth, beginning his adventure by doing odd jobs for different people. He crew 20 heavy machinery, 30 supplies, or... Surveying a barren world. 90 crew, 20 heavy machinery. Okay, we can help these smugglers with destroyers against the cable. Yeah, that, that, oh wait, no. The Reparation Society have started attacking ships belonging to the VIC. Well, okay. That's also another option we could just start attacking anyone the society is attacking just be a little violent psychopath across space <laughs> but in the core worlds the hegemony has long touted itself as a bastion of order a claim that is completely empty for as long as they do not control the thickest ship in existence Wait. The hegemony is invading Anargaya. How does that work? I'm actually curious. I need to know how the how that works. Despite her reluctance to give up her newfound freedom, the Anargaya was, and still is, Mankanor's home. There was no choice. She had to go back. Is the Anargaya supporting my forces? It is? Okay, we have three fast pickets, a patrol, and a detachment. The Anargai is probably our only capital class ship here. Against... Against a bunch of actual battleships. And tankers, for some reason. Okay. This is it. I I didn't get to save before. <laughs> At this point of time, Mankanor has only piloted her own ship for a couple of months, give or take. And it showed. I'm actually piloting properly in escort formation. It is a massive improvement over the last video. Okay. 
this. I think I'm in the way of his shield. Yeah, the shield is killing me. The shield is killing me. <laughs> um, well, that's not good. But despite some minor setbacks, let it not be said that Mankanor Vasara was not a hero. Okay, that's how I move. Bird! Almost got flanked. Actually, I did get flanked. Go get him, mommy. Let's go! I don't think I'm actually contributing much, but at least I'm not dead. Or, oh, that's a battleship I'm heading forward to. Yeah, um, let's just back away slowly. You can disengage. Uh, repair our stuff and... Probably buy new stuff. <laughs> we just... <laughs> when in doubt... Throw steel at them. <laughs> Can you imagine there's just fighting out there and they've just docked into the mothership, which is being attacked, by the way, and then just started shopping for ships to throw out there. Okay, attempt number two. That's still a lot of ships. I mean, I guess I... Okay, I shot it with a missile. That's, that's something. I have killed something. That's something. And, ah! I <laughs> bumped into the Arcae under gay again. <laughs> Helping! Let's go! We can flank it! We can flank it! I think... I think the Anarchy has a distinct hatred for me. The moment I got near, it suddenly raised its shield and killed me. Oh no! I was trying to flank the battle wall thing, and then suddenly it used its a uh, burn drive dash thing to get closer, and then raised its shield, and they just died. But we do get spoils of war. <laughs> The hegemony invasion was repelled at the great cost, but it also had great rewards. Okay, we now have something resembling a fleet. <laughs> I tried to make them as symmetrical as possible, but I kind of ran out of guns. But... It's not bad, we, we have a fleet! And as a loyal child of Anergeia, there really was only one thing to do with their newfound fleet. Spread chaos and violence across the entire sector. We could just park ourselves on top of Canaan, I guess. Uh, start... Start picking fights on anyone. I'm actually winning fights! Go flank them!
Do you want to burn too? <laughs> hey, look! Mr. Hedge Lord! We don't even decide who we're targeting, we just do whatever mommy Anorgaea tells us to do. I see an Aurora ship! Auroran fleet, Auroran fleet, Auroran fleet! Gotcha! Of course, a certain notoriety for wreaking havoc does have a downside. Okay, we have us and our <laughs> ragged hag fleet of ex hegemony ships and ex auroran ships and ex pirate ships and ex whatever ships I can pick up. And we have the Anargaya. The big mommy ship and whatever patrol ships fly floating around against. Okay, we actually managed to separate the three invasions and we're only dealing with one fleet. That's that's a lot better. Well we have S modded ships. Let's go. Um I think that's all of them. I'm gonna need the storage. Mommy, let me store my new ships before we deal with the other two fleets. There's still a lot of them! I don't think we can do the leave and then rejoin thing because the Anargaya might die in auto resolve. It's at 40% hull integrity and we still have some big ships. Clever capitals. Okay. Plus 270% XP. <laughs> yeah, the Anergaeus uh, port side is obliterated. So I'm pretty sure that has its offensive capabilities because it doesn't have guns anymore. So it's exactly like a station where if you destroy a side, it doesn't do, do anything now. Okay, where's the... I think I pushed him way too far. Baby, come back. Okay, he's coming back. Once more, in the defense of their beloved home, Mangkanova Sara proved themselves loyal, brave, and true. But politics 
rests for no one. Let's grab them all! Well, maybe not all of them, but quite a good chunk of them. We've done it! Holy shit. That's a lot of relationship improvements. Wait. Why is Energaya suddenly here? What? I beg your pardon? Why? Okay, we got kicked out of the faction. Because maybe something happened during that fight and there was friendly fire, but uh, the gist is we helped protect the Energaia because it's our home, right? It's the big mommy ship of the migrant fleet. And it was under attack by a bunch of invaders. We helped it and then, I don't know, maybe there were some political shenanigans happening in the background and we just got kicked out of the faction. Ali Zoravas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. But we're not leaving empty-handed because... We did get a bunch of good ships from... from those invaders, right? So... If I ever continue this save file, there's a good chance of that because this is a really funny scenario. Um, I could, you know, go the redemption path, like try to get back to the good graces of the Anarchist Reparation Society or go the vengeance path, right? You kicked me out for doing the right thing. I'll come back with a, sh with a fleet that's not... And not a collection of trash put together and, you know, get revenge, do what these invaders fail to do. But for now, um, yeah. I need rest. I'm starting to dream of spaceships nowadays. So, see you next time.